Hello guys, it is another day today and today so I start by something new happened today so I got a new fridge delivered so that's one thing but also I, it's about half two now so it's, it's like very unlikely me to start a vlog this late we even got this late actually but I woke up like half ten this morning so I think it's one of those days where everything's going on a go slow today but I'm about to make some um, French toast right now um, so that's what we're going to do but I'm not to make French toast for ages but I thought well Put some stuff in to make French toast. So I may as well make some French toast. So I thought it was like recipe which I found online where basically it's like one of those where you get like milk and cinnamon and all that and just like do that kind of stuff. Okay, this one's scrolling on TikTok and I found this recipe where basically you put two locked eggs in a bowl, whisk that about, put a cup of milk in the bowl, then some cinnamon and mut mutmeg. I was about to say mutmeg. Not smeg actually, and then you whisk it about, and um, then you put the bread inside the mixture and put it in a pan to make a French toast. So I'm gonna do it right now. I'm also very tired because I've not had any coffee today, so I think coffee's also a must as well. And so yeah. So to say, obviously, it's go over a flat bowl because obviously it's supposed to the bread and the thing. I was, I was only about to get like a regular bowl there, but I thought, well, the reason why they're showing a flat bowl on a TikTok is because you have to dip the bread in the bowl. So it's quite stupid to not have a flat. Oh, so that's going to So then I basically just put syrup on it. You normally put like strawberries whatever on it, but I decided to go with syrup today. So I'm going to give it a good drizzle. A nice helping syrup. And there you have some French toast. Okay, I've decided to land at the range and look at some Christmas stuff. So I guess like Christmassy crafts because I actually felt like doing some Christmassy crafts. So sorry, I'll turn the camera off then because a crowd of people like walk past the outfit, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get some Christmassy crafts because I woke up this morning and so they seem kind of like slow and like a bit of a flop but anyway. So I thought well I just want to get some Christmassy stuff and just get to load of Christmas crafts and do a Christmassy craft thing tonight. So that's what I did, and I, I, know, I know the range has a load of Christmassy crafts, but right now I'm in the Christmas aisle, which wow, look at all these like, tunnels. I love Christmas so much. Like, I just love Christmas so much. All the lights and all the music, and Christmas is just so fun and so magical. Okay, I've just been out to get some Christmas craft stuff and so I just came back now but I had that like um, French toast. French toast is lovely but I thought it was a bit like sort of bland at first. I thought it was like quite bland but on the night it was actually alright-ish. Um, I'll definitely do it again though because it was nice but you have to just add like a lot of sweet sauce so I had like a load of like syrup or strawberries or chocolate spread, whatever you add, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll need a lot of if you like things to be sweet but you know, if you like things like quite bitter then uh, with like no taste and um, then that's the French toast to you but anyway I'm back in the album I went shopping to get some Christmas crafts I've already said that I think I've already said that but anyway I've um, got some Christmas crafts and I've also got some um, stuff to make um, pasta like pasta chips with today because I'm making another thing which I found online which is pasta chips so Basically, you like cut the pasta with like normal pasta, but then afterwards, you like put the pasta, like the cooked pasta, in like a tray, do a little bit of oil, and put parmesan and all the stuff on, put it in the oven, and it makes it pasta chips. And then I've also got some feta as well, so it's gonna work with some feta as well. So it's gonna be quite a good little experiment. So, a lot of experiment, but um, I think I love it. So, I've had pasta chips before, I actually need pasta chips that are quite nice. So while the kettle is boiling, I'm gonna whip up some feta. So I've got to take feta thing here, I got it from Aldi. And basically you cut them into cubes and then put it in like a bowl. So my ideal you put like cream or something in it to like make it like easier to wear, but I'm not going to, but I recommend you guys put like cream or something in it. That's why they always do when they work feta, but I'm literally gonna shove the cubes of feta in a bowl and whip it. It takes a lot longer though, but I have done it before and it's kind of doable. Thank you. 
Okay, it's a long while later now. I haven't even really vlogged all day, but I've just been back from work. And I'm doing Tesco's right now, so... There's like barbell cup things and like a half belt on. There's like a J. I don't see a J though, and my name's Jamie. Um, I don't think there is. You yeah, like cute nursery stuff as well. I love Tesco homeless so much. I feel like I go to like homeless all like Dunelm and home bargains being um, you know, Primark home and all that kind of stuff, but not from a level amount at supermarket home or ranges. In fact sometimes like the home where ranges in you know, supermarkets better than like place like Dunelm. Like they're just like really cute. Are you kidding me? Look how cute these decorations are. Oh it looks like it looks like a giant candle. It's like cute little animal plant pots as well. Look at that wooden one. I would love this actually. And it's only only fibre as well because it wooden succulent thing. I think I want that for a room actually. Look at that little golden bee thing as well. 